I, I've got to do some work. We've got to do some work, as I mentioned in the letter, to uh, with the Colfax County Commissioner on the the area around Schuyler. But it will pretty it, it will look pretty similar to what you see in option one dash three. It, it meets the criteria that we've talked about to the board with about from um, that we got from the from the power review board is that everybody's within five percent of the ideal or the average, and yes. then from top from from the largest uh, subdivision to the smallest as far as population, the variation is less than ten percent. So yes. we met all those criteria with regard to that, and that has that has worked out you know very well in that regard. So in, in the redrawn district lines for in, in one dash three. Uh, basically, basically, Director um, Drews and Director Knott, who are currently in, in subdivision one and subdivision two, they would be in a new subdivision called subdivision two, and they would basically run against each other in in November. When when this all gets done in after the vote in November of 2022, and when 2023 starts, like the people at Genoa and Fullerton and Albion will have a director serving all of them, instead of right now, Albion has a director serving them and Fullerton you know, has a director serving them. It'll all be one director serving that whole area. Other than that, yeah, nobody from Columbus, you know, yeah. nobody goes outside of Columbus. You know, we have the Northern Colfax County, the Schuyler area, the rural area around Columbus, Northern Platte County, that all stays pretty much the same. It's just, Kind of Nance and Boone counties, generally speaking, because there's a couple of townships yeah. in there that are actually in with the Northern Platte County area. But generally, Boone and, and Nance County kind of combine to make one big subdivision. 